Hey guys, this is Magic One, and uh, this is part nine of the Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare walkthrough. So, um, I forgot to start the recording, so we're already at the Odd Fellows Rest uh, graveyard. So, just start off by burning these coffins fast as you can. So, yep, just burning those coffins. Ends the thing faster, I believe. <laughs> so I um, I recommend doing the pattern that I do, and uh, the other place that we're going to in this video is we're also going to go to the uh, tumbleweed um, graveyard. So yep, that one. I almost died there. So you, you guys are lucky. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have had to. I'm not sure what I would have done. So. Uh, probably would have just cut out parts, but I don't know. But let's just focus on this graveyard right now. So, so aim for the head of the zombies as always. Do the mark and execute with the double barrel shotgun. Again, you can use any gun that you want. I just chose the double barrel shotgun because, as you can see, in the ammo counter area, I have over 91 bullets left in this gun. So that's one of the reasons why I am using it. And that was a lucky shot. I didn't think I was going to get that guy. I was going to get knocked over and die from the zombies killing me. So, uh, yeah. Also, be careful of those little ones. Those things are really annoying. And. Here is Mr. Peter Turner. Yeah, something. Can't really tell. Yeah, it's Peter Turner. Looks like. Um, I recommend not leaving the graveyard. You're not supposed to. Apparently, it just like ends the quest. And you have to start over or something. So don't leave the graveyard. That's that's just kind of stupid. <laughs> So yeah, use the mark and execute and there's like a couple zombies nearby that you can easily just mark and kill. And there you go, execution for the final kill. And there we go. Oddfellow's rest has been cleansed of all dead zombies. Of all of the undead. So, as I said in my previous video, I will be doing a Da Vinci's disappearance walkthrough around the 8th, which is when the add-on comes out. And, yep, so you guys should look for that on my channel, A21NY. So let's head to the Tumbleweed uh, Graveyard, which actually isn't too far away, so that's why I did that, so that we can get both of them in in one video and make this thing shorter for you guys to watch. So, um, I think I mentioned this before in an earlier video, but the reason why I mess up sometimes when I'm traveling is because I am uh, sitting a distance away from my TV, which is very small, and um, I can't really see the red on the mini map, and I need to always check the amount of time that the video has taken. So, um, that's pretty much the only reason why I'm not doing very good on the traveling while it's taking so long. So. I've almost uh, memorized the map since I love this game so much, but there's still a couple places that I'm not very good at. I I've, I know pretty much all of Mexico. See that that's just one example. I thought we had to go up there, but apparently we didn't. So so I know almost all of Mexico. So when we get down there, then um, I won't be messing up that much since I, I like the Mexico in this game better than real life. So. <laughs> Um, sh sharp turn right there. Not sure how they expect you to make those, but uh, they expect you to. And then here's Tumbleweed, where there is a hostage crisis in the original game. I think I've already said that, but I'm not sure. So I passed the graveyard, <laughs> and I and I'm jumping because I thought that I could jump the fence, but apparently you can't jump that fence. So we just pull out your tor torch and then. Just burn all the coffins again. It's the same for all of them. I think that there's one last uh, 
graveyard after this one, but it's like later in the game and it's really hard. <laughs> it's like tons of zombies in there. Um, so yeah, just do the same pattern I did, just circle them, and then or the for burning the coffin, just circle around them and stuff, and get on that side so you, you can uh, turn around quickly and just hit that other one, but just don't run into the wagon. I accidentally did that. So yeah, there you go. All of the coffins have been burned, and now I just have to continue to clean out the infestation of zombies. Another mark and execute right there. I think I'm using my repeater carbine. So um, yeah, you guys should use that too. Very useful gun. Um, one of the reasons why I'm aiming it is because I can't see very well. I think my screen brightness is lower than, or what the um, brightness is on the recording is actually higher than um, what I actually have on my screen, my TV screen. So yeah, one of the reasons why I'm not doing very well. And so yeah, use your dead eye and go for the special effect of like the big fat guys and the small movers, crawlers, for what they're called. Uh, but yeah, and the retros, don't forget about the retros. So yeah, just go for all of these special objectives. And just use dead eye on them. It's the quickest solution anyway I've ever found. I, I think a better solution would be using a big machine gun, but we don't have machine guns in this game. Or we do, but you just don't get them that much. And uh, yeah, I probably won't be doing very many of the missing person missions since those are mostly side quests and um, the only side quests that you really have to do are the um, question mark ones so yeah and I got grabbed by that zombie this is how I almost died. I'm not sure how he even hurt me but I managed to kill one just beat them down and run away if you can just run away and um, just stay back and get into a good spot where you can just quickly mark him and kill him. I was running out of dead eye, so that's why I kinda just like um, missed. So I, that was a complete waste of dead eye, so just go for the, the wretched there. I was kinda hoping I didn't kill my horse. I barely missed that guy's head. And that probably saved me from getting knocked over. This issue. And there we go. Tumbleweed graveyard has been cleansed and there we go so, so please comment like and subscribe and look at my channel h1 and y